They've got to make this a difficult place to come into for opponents and set up for a weekend sweep for the Tigers, but need to take care of business starting tonight. There's the head coach, Wayne Wilson, and one point he made after Friday night's tie at Canisius last week was he wants other guys to step up. It just can't be the Garbowski line. As that puck icing is waved off, picked up by Rayner in his own end. Closing seconds of this period is Mitchell with the turnover right out in front, and it's put back in! Who else, Johnny, as the Tiger toss commences the Teddy Bears coming onto the ice, Matt Garbowski. Well, you just felt the Tigers are going to be rewarded. Sloppy puck handling by the Pioneers. They've got to take better care of the puck. Look at this. This line has been sensational. Mitchell comes up with the puck. Nice backhanded pass in front. And who finishes better than Matt Garbowski? As <laughs> now they will pause to clean up the teddy bears. Matt Garbowski with his team leading 10th goal. That's just smart hockey IQ knowing if that is gonna be a turnover, where to go to. Mitchell knew exactly where he wanted to go. As soon as he got that puck, his head was up from right behind the net. He knew where Matt Garbowski was going to be. The chemistry of this line has been sensational. We'll get a look at it again. Look at Mitchell. He knows exactly where Garbowski's going to be. He slides right in position there, right in the slot. Two diving pioneer players, a little tardy for Garbowski then able to beat and solve Bednarchuk. But again, another giveaway on the part of the pioneers. Inexcusable for that turnover. It's sent down the ice. Uh, number 10, Brady Norsh. Oh, as Garbowski stepping out of the ice. We have an open net. It's a goal. Oh my goodness, coming way out, but Narchuk, and he slams his stick. What? I, I don't get that. He didn't need even why he came out. No clue. Does he not know Garbowski is killing the penalty? That is a shorthanded goal for the Tigers. That's, wow. It's inexcusable. He didn't even need to come out. Look how far he comes out, and then nonchalant. I mean, look at this. And then he tries to get cute with the puck, with the backhand. You're in trouble by that point, and wow, and then look at this. And now Garbowski coming up with it here on the feed. Garbowski going in all alone. The shot, he scores! He is red hot! Matt Garbowski, his 11th of the season, and it's 3-0 RIT. Right, there's nobody around him. Another, another meltdown. On the back side there defensively by the Pioneers. Garbowski, you're right, is in a zone. Look at this, no one's around him. And he spots it up, just gets it inside the post. You're right, he is sizzling right now. Like the drop pass. Right out in front and on the board are the Pioneers. Ben Lake. That's with the ball. Good to see that, Gino. I think everybody here in the arena thought it was going to be against Sacred Heart. I, I apologize. I'm going to see what they called here. So it'll be on Jordan Manello. Put back in a very quick power play oh. goal. That's Mitchell. Second point tonight. It's a power play goal. It's 4 1 RIT. I could have sworn there would be a penalty on Norris there, but right off the uh, faceoff, look at this. What a swing. And I see him get a power play goal there. Boy, I just lie, Josh Mitchell. It just continues to just dominate. A 16th point of the season for the Tigers. We've been doing hockey games seven years now. I'm going to come up with an all-time RIT team in the last seven years. McGowan, all sorts of room. He's got Thompson cutting along. Thompson back to McGowan, the blast and a goal. Oh. That's how you draw it up. Another shorthanded goal. 5 1 RIT. Again, an odd man rush on the part of the Tigers. Nobody back for Sacred Heart. They're getting an earful from their coaches. And to this one, well played. Great execution. Look at this. Another odd man rush. Thompson. Oh, I think I'll give it right back.